Welcome back to realvacantland.com. This is Luke Smith. I've got another property for you. This one is in Mendocino County, California. It's uh, half an acre and I just lowered the price. It was, I don't know, something higher. I just lowered it down to 5999 I think it's one of the cheapest ones in the area. <clears throat> it's listed on Zillow and all the other websites posted all over the place. Uh, I just sold one like this for like $7,500 a couple days ago, but I got a couple of them and um, if you're the person that just paid $7,500, sorry, <laughs> but here's another one. Uh, this one's cheaper, $5,999. You can buy a couple, couple of them for those prices and it's got power, it's got water. This one doesn't have sewer. Um, I think the one the person just bought had sewer. Maybe that's why it's a little bit more. This one doesn't have sewer. You got to put in a septic system. In this neighborhood, they require that you put in a septic system. They require that you build a site built house. I think the minimum square footage is like a thousand square foot. They've got a, uh, a community that wants to take a look at your design and say, okay, before you go build it. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's a beautiful area. There's a lot of green belt, a lot of these trees. I mean, this is land like. I think it's right right there, right over my shoulder. This is uh, Blue Lake Court. It goes up through here. This is a trail. And it's a uh, you know, road kind of running the back of this mountain or the ridge of the mountain. And then there's trees all over the place. People dig a hole through the trees, cut a couple trees down, and put the house in there. And it's a lot of it's redwoods too. So it's big redwoods. And uh, we'll take a look at this here in a sec. Let's jump into the listing. Let's go to ruralvacantland.com. And this is, this is one of my properties. And uh, let's pull up some pictures. I had a picture guy go. So these are actual pictures. This is street view, but we'll get to some actual pictures. Here's a Willits is down here. I'll get to some maps too. Let's just zoom through this. Okay, so here's an actual picture of the property. And um, you can see it's some good sized trees in there. This area was logged in the 50s or 60s or something like that. And then the trees have been growing back since. So it's a, it's a rectangular lot on Blue Lake Court. Neighbor's got a bit bigger lot. He's got a, you know, a flagpole lot coming back. So you can see how it's at the top of the hill, and then it looks down the hill. There's a, you know, the hill drops off back behind the property. So you could build on the, on the top and then look out over this valley. Ridge Road probably looks back at this Blue Lake Court as well. So Ridge Road, you got to go out to Ridge Road and then down to get down to the neighborhood and get out of there. This is towards the back of the neighborhood. There's not that many people that will go by your property to go further out into the neighborhood. So there's not much traffic. Get some more real pictures of the property. So here's a picture. It's... Uh, so here's the neighbor's property here. So it's, they've got a fence down here, and then the, this is kind of like, you know, they're, they've been kind of taking care of the yard, and then the property line starts right in here somewhere. Um, I think there's stakes, and these, these properties are marked. It's been a while since the stakes were put in, so you might have a hard time finding them. You have to kick through the leaves and dig around, or maybe use a metal detector or something to find it. But it uh, should be a pin in there. And then there's a, a power line that goes down the road, water line in the, in the road, there's a chunk of dirt here, so you probably don't want to put your driveway right through that. Maybe you start your driveway at one side or the other and cut in there, And but you're in, you can build the top of the hill. So you get the top of the hill and take out some trees and get a view. There's another shot. So this is where the photo guy parked, but the property would be over here. These are some serious trees on the property. I don't know how to explain the size of these trees, a drone must have flown up double the tree height or something to take that picture. Yeah, so I think this is the neighbor's property here if I've got the orientation right. And so this would be your property here in these trees. And you can see this area. I mean, it's just a beautiful area. It's just trees and trees and mountains, hills running around. A lot of this is national forest or preserved lands. Uh, or part of the neighborhood that they can't turn into houses but a lot of it's just uh, put aside for nature so you've got miles and miles and miles just big woods beautiful woods going in multiple directions it's probably really quiet here 
so you're not by any major roads or anything so that the road would go back you know around this valley over here it would go back and then it would run this next ridge over here back out and down to town and then this road here it just goes down the hill a little bit to a couple more houses maybe a half dozen houses or something not very many and that's it not much traffic so here's probably the neighbor's lot and here's that gully and this would be the next ridge over you could kind of see a little bit of a road over here that'd be ridge road coming down go down to town and then Willets would be out here in the background and you kind of see it in the background a little bit lower elevation you know they they've been chopping the trees down over there I don't think that's the neighbor's property but it might be it might be a shot of the neighbor's property there and uh, you can see I cut the trees and get a view out over everything a couple houses up here you know they're sitting out with views so your property could be this is probably a neighbor's property right in here I think he's got some trees cut so you can get a view so you'd be over here you knock down some trees and you have a view as well yeah see how they're they're just sticking these houses they're hiding them in the woods and they're chopping down trees and no one's looking I doubt anyone will say anything but you know make some trees disappear midnight pruning you got a view So here's a shot of the, the woods that this property's in, just a beautiful looking woods. See there's some good ground here between the road and before it starts to drop off in the back. So you could set up a house there, set up a yard and stuff, and then take out some trees so that drop doesn't block your view so you can see out over the valley. Look at the size of that stump. I wonder if that stump is there from logging days or or what? It looks like a good one. couple stumps in there good beautiful moss <laughs> I was like moss on trees I don't know what it is it's just romantic or nostalgic or something I don't know um, so here's a shot of the hill straight you know in the middle middle of the property you got this hill from the road in I mean I'm sure you could knock a driveway through there if you wanted to but I think it'd be easier just come in from the side or do it on an angle yeah, like you come in, come in from here, or go in this way even, wrap around. And then what a hill like that does is if any cars drive by, they just bounce the road noise up instead of at you. It'd be a good uh, noise deflector. Not that there's many cars. Here's the high school, home of the Wolverines. Willets High. Here's a... Uh, Here's the town in the evening. Uh, picture guy was driving through there and he took some pictures. Um, on the way back from taking pictures, a half dozen properties up in the hills for me. Chase Bank. Maybe he was wondering if I paid him yet. And uh, I can't read all the signs, but there's just, you know, there's a bar and some restaurants and things. Town's happening. There's Mariposa Market. This grocery store is advertising a lot of organic, natural food. Yeah, look at that. There's a sign right here. Organic, natural foods. So I think you could uh, come out here, live in the countryside, and still get some good quality foods. That's what bugs me when I go to a lot of really country, rural areas. So the quality of the food drops off. So I think it's amazing when you have a good quality food supplier in the area like this and still country, country life, country style. Got some picking tables out front so you can buy stuff and eat, eat near the store too. Gas was three and a half bucks over here <laughs> when he took some pictures. There's a Safeway, you can get all kinds of supplies there. There's Willits, heart of Mendocino County. This is in Mendocino County. Look at that. Fantastic Beast 2. Wreck It Ralph and the Grinch. This must have been just before Christmas, watching the Grinch. Look at that street. There's nobody there. That is empty. <laughs> uh, but it'd be fun to go to a movie theater like that. Sit in the seat and the springs are probably shot. You just think about all the memories that have 
happened at a movie theater's history like this one. Was it built in the 50s, maybe? Kind of looks like it was redone somewhere along the way. A little bit, but not much. Um, yeah, so here's another picture. I'm not sure what we're looking at here. I'm going to skip this one. Yeah, but I'll let, I'll let you look at the pictures. Let's go back to the listing. So four th or five, sorry, $5,999 for half an acre, Mendocino County, California. I got a bunch of videos from the, the picture guy went up there and took pictures. He also took some drone shots. So you can get 3D video flyovers of the property, around the property, zoom in, zoom out, look up and down the street, all that kind of stuff. Really recent pictures. So you don't even really have to drive up there to get a good idea of what's going on. I and mean, if you still like what you see, then drive up there and go go listen and smell and that kind of stuff. But you can see it right on the internet. So here's the interactive map of the lot lines. Let's click on that. I'm going to click it up here in the corner. It's going to blow it up. And um, looks like the neighbor is doing some gardening. I think he's growing marijuana or is he growing uh, tomatoes or what? Growing something. Looks like he's got a water tank in the back. I think that might be a water tank. And then you've got some, yeah, here's a power line. And right at the corner of where he stops clipping the grass, it starts going back in. That's where I think the hill was the not as steep. I think the hill got steeper over here by the telephone pole, if you remember that. So that's actually a neighbor's property. So it's, uh, yeah, nowhere near as steep in the front of, you know, this lot here as it, as it gets over here. It'd be harder to get into some of these. Okay, like I was saying before, you take this street up to Ridge Road, and then it comes back around. Let's turn on a map. Yeah, so the property's over here. You take the street up and down, 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 Ridge Road. And you keep going down, and eventually you get into, well, I guess you could take Goose Road into the neighborhood. Or you could take, you could stay on Ridge Road. It turns into Buckeye, and then eventually lets you out. Yeah, it's probably going to make more sense to take Goose Road. So Goose Road comes over and lets you out of the neighborhood eventually down Sherwood Road and out into town. Otherwise, you could take, there's a bunch of different routes through there. But there's a, there's numerous lakes in the area that have been dammed up for water um, serving the neighborhood. There was a scare in the past about not having enough water, but that's been turned back on. So you can hook up, you can hook up, uh, hook up water again so that's no big deal but that's what toppled the price in the past and so now you can take advantage of that you can get water and you can buy the property you can build and go for it and have fun with it and you go get your groceries in Mariposa Market and get some good healthy food so you stay on your feet as you keep working on your house and go make it happen so there's the property $5,999 for half an acre Mendocino County California in the woods a bunch of redwoods power and water you build a septic you build the house you bring the dreams you make it happen <laughs> thanks for listening thanks for watching this is luke smith at ruralvacantland.com with another property and uh, if you want to see more properties like this please subscribe i'll keep showing them to you until we find the right one for you hopefully this one's it thanks bye